Finn groaned. Marlin, there is always a price with you. Haven't you taken enough of my golden crystals? Marlin floated around him, mischief in their eyes. Relax, Finn. I don't want your money. This is a different kind of price. Something much more valuable, but difficult to achieve. Finn sensed a new quest ahead of him. He stretched his arms, preparing for whatever Marlin was about to throw at him. But hearing his real name uttered by an NPC was something he never expected. Marlin? What did you just call me? Marlin giggled and floated up to a high shelf in the library. <laughs> Finn! That is your name, is it not? Marlin plucked a leather-bound book from the shelf. It was like a directory. She flipped to the F section. Yup, Phoenix Fire, also known as Finn Powell had the potential to be part of a professional team like the Striders, but chose to make one of his own, bringing with him his college friend, Caden Fields, aka Shadow Strike. Gameplays... Oh, this is interesting. Gameplays... Two. Funny. The only way to get another gameplay is to restart. But there is no record of you restarting this time around. Finn looked up at Marlin in shock. His jaw was on the floor. Finally, something in the game acknowledged he was not a cheater. He just was playing the game a second time around. Marlin, are you telling me you know that I have played this game before? Marlin smiled down at Finn and giggled. <laughs> I do not know what I am saying. Somehow, this is your first time playing. And it is also your second time. Perhaps this is just a glitch in the game. We've been having a few of those, as Faye made painfully clear. Finn climbed up the ladder attached to the bookshelf to get on Marlin's level. No, no, it's not a glitch. You know what's happened, don't you? Marlin pressed her finger against Finn's lips, silencing him. I only know what is a part of the game. If you think that means I know how you've played this game before, you can believe that all you want. Although it sounds like a stretch to think a game would be able to make you start over from the beginning, even in the real world, don't you think, Finn? Marlin winked at Finn, and he got the hint. Don't ask any more questions, at least when it comes to my personal restart. Marlin, you mentioned I needed to pay you with something that would be difficult to achieve. What does that mean? Marlin grinned from ear to ear. I am so glad you asked. Marlin clapped her hands together, and a quest prompt popped up in front of Finn. If you achieve the Sword God quest, I will simply ask a favor of you. A favor only you could fulfill once you achieve that status. Finn's eyes widened at the chance to become the Sword God, a status very few swordsmen thought they could achieve in the game. Just one favor? Marlin nodded. Just the one. What do you say, Finn? Finn didn't pay much attention to the prompt in front of him, ignoring how it said continue quest, not start quest. I accept, Marlin. As soon as he hit accept, the entire library dissolved around them into pixels, leaving Finn and Marlin alone in a room that felt like something out of the Matrix. Finn looked around, confused. Where are we, Marlin? Is this a glitch? Marlin looked different here, too. Gone were their period-appropriate robes. Instead, Marlin wore a white bodysuit with glowing blue piping. Not at all, Finn. This is where we will continue your quest for the time being. Becoming a sword god is unlike any other quest in the game, so it requires a change of scenery. Finn wandered around the negative space. He could even feel the electricity coursing through this place. We are in the game's mainframe, aren't we, Marlin? Marlin nodded. That is correct, Finn. Finn looked at Marlin in confusion. What sort of NPC are you? Marlin smiled. Well, with Fade decommissioned, the game needed a replacement and selected me. I am more than an NPC now. I am the new guide for the game. And I need your help, Finn. I need the help of the Sword God to make this game even better. Remarkable, Marlin. Congratulations. However I can help, I will. 
Marlin held up a hand to stop Finn from getting ahead of himself. Not so fast. Before you can help, you need to achieve Sword God status, remember? Right. So, how do I begin this quest, Marlin? Marlin cocked her head to the side, giving Finn a knowing smile. Start the quest? Finn, the quest started a long time ago. What do you mean, Marlin? For someone who has made it so far in the game, you still haven't figured it out, Finn. Your playthrough has been the Sword God quest. Every player who selects the Swordsman option agrees to such a quest. However, it's their choices throughout the entirety of the game that determine whether or not they will achieve such a status. Finn could not believe what he was hearing. Every choice he had made, every monster and enemy he had defeated, all of it led him to the final chapter of the Sword God quest. And he didn't even know it until now. You're saying that this entire time, I have been on the right path to become a Sword God, Marlin? That is correct, Finn. But to complete this quest, there is one more choice you need to make. Based on that choice, I will determine if you are worthy enough to be a sword god. Are you ready? Finn nodded vehemently. Absolutely. With the snap of her fingers, Marlin summoned an armory stocked with thousands of swords. Some swords felt appropriate for the medieval setting of the game. Broadswords, rapiers, longswords. There were swords from other cultures, katanas, sabers. There were even swords Finn swore could not be real, like the energy sword seen in sci-fi films. Marlin gestured to all the swords around them. Finn, you must select the sword you think is most worthy of the sword god. Once you have it, explain to me how you intend to use it as the sword god of Emberpoint. Choose wisely. Finn walked through the armory, taking in every sword. While a rapier would be a great sword for fencing and swashbuckling, it doesn't allow me to slash opponents as well as a broadsword. A katana would be less cumbersome though. However, a saber's unique curve makes for a more devastating cut. Finn thought over how he would use each and every sword. Finally, he landed on one he had never used in the game but had used in reality. It was a wooden sword, perfect for make-believe. I used to have one of these as a kid. I love that thing so much. Dad would even play pirates with me. I don't know what it is doing here. You can't use a toy as a legitimate weapon. That's when Finn realized he was thinking of this challenge as a fighter, not a player. Thinking all the way back to when he first entered the game, he recalled how confused Faye was that he didn't want to play the game for fun. He wanted to play to win. Faye, unstable as she was, did make a good guide early in the game. Perhaps she was trying to put me on the right path this whole time. Finn settled on the toy sword, taking it in his hand. Marlin kept a straight face, observing Finn's choice with careful eyes. Is that your final choice, Finn? It is, Marlin. And how would you use it as the sword god? Finn thought over what he could do as the sword god of Emberpoint. I could fight every guild leader under the sun, making myself the most powerful player known to man. I could complete every quest the game has up its sleeve. I could make enough money in-game to set myself and my loved ones for life in reality. No, that is not what being Sword God is about. That is not what Emberpoint is about. I know that now. Marlin, I would first use my new status to lift all restrictions on who can access what parts of the game. It should not matter what level or status one is for them to enjoy all the possibilities Emberpoint has. And if they fail, then they should be allowed to try again. Marlin narrowed her eyes. But Finn still could not get a read on her. Are you sure, Finn? If we make it so that anyone can access these areas, would that not destroy the spirit of competition? Should players not earn access to these opportunities? Finn chuckled. <laughs> I may have agreed with you in the past, Marlin, but I no longer do. This game was always meant to be a place for fun, was it not? So why should we limit who can and cannot experience that fun to its fullest? Marlin smiled at Finn. You have a great point, Finn Powell. Or should I say, Sword God Phoenix Fire? With the snap of her fingers, Marlin transported them back to the library. While she returned to her usual Emberpoint appearance, 
been upgraded to the highest status a swordsman could, the status of Sword God. Thank you for listening to Extra Life. Please subscribe to The Story Thief to get instantly notified on new episodes. And stay tuned for more.